Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to add and customize footer in Wix Studio. So first thing that we should do is to simply open your web browser. Then of course, we have to log in to our Wix Studio account. So just type out on your web browser, Wix Studio, and then you'll be able to see the website and then simply log into your account. And then at the left side, you just have to simply click on the sites option. And then from here, you just have to select the website that you want to edit. And then you can also create a new site if you click on the option at the top right of your screen. Okay, so I'm just going to edit an existing one. So here it is. So I only have one page for this site so that you can understand the video immediately. Okay, so first thing that we should do here is to simply click on the Add Elements option at the top left of our screen. And then we just have to click on the sections option. So right here we have the design sections. So we have welcome, about sections, we also have services, and more. And if we go to the very bottom of this design sections, we have the footers. So when we click on footers, we'll be able to see this different templates that we can use. And if you're going to find the footers, you can actually use the search bar at the top and then simply type out footers and then click on enter. Okay, and then you'll be able to see these different templates. Okay, so after that, let us now try to select the template that we want to use. So for example, I would like to add this template and use this one as my footer. And as you can see, when we added the footer, okay, the first page has been transferred to the very bottom and then we don't want that okay so that's not how it should be done so first thing that we should always keep in mind is that we have to add a new section before adding a footer okay so let me just remove this footer at the top so that we can place this footer at the correct location so that is at the bottom okay so here since this is our first page, what we're going to do is to simply click on the Add Section option. And then you just have to click on this page. And then after that, you can click on now the Add Elements option. So when you click on the Add Elements option, we are going to click on the section again and go to the Design section and then click on Footer and then select the footer template that you want to use. Okay, so now that we have added the footer successfully at the correct location, we can now start customizing this template. Okay, so as you can see, this template has three cells. So this is the first cell of this template, the second cell, and then the third cell. So let us try customizing the first cell. So when we click on that cell over here, okay, so we'll be able to see the add media option. And then we also have the settings to customize the elements of this cell okay so let us start with the basic um settings so we have here the split horizontally option split vertically option so if you would like to um, apply that on the first cell so you just have to simply click on it now let us click on the first cell again and click on this arrow at the top right of our screen and then this page will open so right here we can edit the size the design we also have the border the corners and then the rest of the settings so let's start with the size so if you would like to edit the size of this one you just have to simply click on the three dots and then simply click on this switch to turn it on okay then you can now start editing the size but i'm just going to leave this one as it is now let's proceed to the design section so as you can see the color of the background of the cell is this one so if you'd like to change the color just simply click on the color and if you're gonna find here your colors you just have to simply click on add and then just have to custom your color okay so i just have to simply click on x if you're done next is the border so for the opacity and color of the border you can change that over here and then the width or the pixel can also adjust this one and then we also have the corners so the radius pixels so you can change this one as well so you just have to simply click on the number and then type out the radius that you want to apply or the pixel that you want to apply okay and then for the layout we have the settings and then we have the position and of course the position type so we have default and sticky so i am going to use the default one 
and if you would like to use the sticky then you can do that as well okay and then right here for the ducking margins and then padding you can change this if you want to but i think this but i think this um template is better already so i'm just going to leave that and then we have more settings at the bottom so if you would like to explore this thing so you just have to do that now let us try to edit some of the elements in the cell so to do that you just have to simply click on that specific element so for example this text and then after selecting the text you just have to simply click on edit text and then just have to delete the default text and then type out right here your text okay so for example fix okay, so the, I think that's just a good example for this one. And the next thing is if you'd like to remove a cell, so you just have to simply click on that cell and then right click and then simply click on delete. And then that specific cell will be removed from this page. So right here for the third cell, I would like to change the media. So you just have to click on that image or that cell and then click on upload media. Okay, and then you can also upload it from Wix. So for example, I am going to use a picture from wix for example this one okay so i think this one is better so after that you just have to simply click on add to page okay and then just have to wait for a couple of seconds okay so let me try again so i just have to simply click on change image okay and then just have to select the same image again so this one and then click on update okay then after that if you would like to unstuck the um, element so you just have to simply click on it and then click on unstuck but of course you also have a choice if you want to remove all of the elements of this template and then you can add yours okay so you just have to go to the element section and then go to the text and then from there you can add your own text and then customize your elements okay so let me just resize this one okay and then right here you can um start customizing everything from the color so let us preview this um page first so this is how it's going to look and then if you would like to make more edit so you just have to simply click on edit site once again and then you can now start correcting the things that you think need to be um taken care of okay so after that of course you just have to simply click on the publish option this one at the top right of your screen and then after publishing make sure that you have your custom domain okay you can also connect your own customized domain right here if you want to so after that you just have to simply save and continue so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye